Hey, what's up YouTube and anyone watching there? Alright guys, I've been getting a lot of questions on how to use the split function in VB.net. So I thought of making a tutorial today on how to use the split function in VB.net. Okay, so basically there are two types of split functions that you can use. Okay, the first one is the string.split and the second one is rejects.split. Okay, I will be teaching both of them in full detail. So if you don't know anything about it, so you're good watching this video. Okay, you, you can start off by creating a new project. You can click on this new project or you can click on this new project button or you can go to file and click on new project. And this time we'll creating a new Windows form application. So we're going to be renaming this to anything you like actually. I'll rename mine the split tutorial, okay? Okay, so once your form has finished loading, you will get this blank form. To add anything to it, you have to go to toolbox on the left hand side and click on button. You can either drag this button to your form or you can double click on the button, okay? Now we um, double click on the buttons to go into the codes okay now the first one as I told you before I will be showing you how to use the string or split function to use this function you'd be declared an array first an array is anything um, that you add two brackets in front of it it becomes an array okay Okay, so I added two parentheses over here and that makes it an array. It's not a string variable anymore. And okay, now we add another, we declare another string variable, string2 as string. And this string variable is please and then question mark and then subscribe. Okay. You can do anything in instead of question mark. You can do anything you like, but make sure that it's one character long only. So you can do add design or anything you like, but make sure it's only one character. So for this tutorial, I will be using this um, question mark. Okay. So for the string dot split function, we go string equals string two dot split. And then in the brackets we type in um, the character of which we separating so this time it's question mark so the, the question mark will be separated from these two words now okay to show our results we do a message box okay the message box will have the string zero and the space and the another string which is string one okay now as you can see I've used the string zero because you should remember always that an array always starts with zero and not one so the string zero will be the please and then it's separated by a space and then the string one will be the subscribe word okay now we try <clears throat> now we run the program and see what we have got okay now once we click on button one we see please subscribe and there's no question mark in it so it, it has basically separated the question mark from these two words okay now the second one which we're going to look at is um, the rejects function Okay, this one is for rejects, okay? Um, to use the rejects function, you have to make sure you declare in general declarations that you're gonna be using rejects function. So to do that, we go imports, system, dot text, dot regular expressions. Now, I've done already a tutorial on regular expressions in full detail. So if you don't know what it is, you may have to go and check out my channel for it. Okay. And now we do the basically the same thing again. 
we declare an array first and then we declare a string okay um, but this time we go string equals rejects dot split and in the brackets we type in string two comma and in the quotation marks what we are actually splitting so let's do ABC this time okay and let's um, do the same thing again please ABC and then subscribe and you have to make sure what you write in here should be same as in here otherwise it won't work okay now we copy and paste the same message box thing to our button 2 okay and now let us see what happens okay we click on button 2 we get the same thing again so the rejects function can work with more than one character but the string dot split cannot so if we let us try add um, two more things to it like two more characters to it let us try add the two add the red sign to it and let us see what happens now so when we click on button one we get this ugly looking weird looking result that we don't want it okay we we wanted please subscribe and not the add the add the right subscribe okay so it didn't work out the way we wanted so as I told you before rejects works with more than one character and the string dot split doesn't okay so now it should work okay please subscribe please subscribe um thanks guys for watching this video if you think I helped you anyhow please do subscribe to me and yeah keep in touch for more tutorials thanks